back in North America after having flown from Sydney, Australia yesterday via Hawaii to the USA. And uh, what I uh, do when I'm flying now, I always try to think of an experiment that can demonstrate Earth's curvature. And uh, one comment I see frequently posted in uh, Flat Earth Channel videos is um, that pilots don't have to factor in the Earth's curvature. Now that is just complete nonsense for many reasons, but one uh, area we do have to factor in the Earth's curvature is when operating the airborne weather radar system to uh, map ground features. And uh, this screenshot was taken about 250 nautical miles out of Hawaii. We were still at 45,000 feet in the cruise. And you'll see on the um, diagram, the bottom left-hand corner here in green, the weather radar had zero tilt, so it was looking straight ahead. Now you'll notice Hawaii itself, and over here where the island of uh, Kauai is, you can't actually see them on the radar at this uh, point with zero tilt. However, if I tilt the radar down three degrees, so now tilted down three degrees, you can see both the uh, terrain of the mountain of uh, Honolulu and also Kauai. Okay, so uh, very clear evidence there that a zero tilt does not see those mountains, but three degrees down tilt will see them. Now let's have a look at uh, how the radar operates and uh, just compare some of the uh, calculations for a flat earth to see whether the radar should actually be able to see them. So again, I said it was about 250 nautical miles out of um, Honolulu. I plotted the position on my four flight app. We were before Barker and uh, the route was taking us via Carp and a Parker into Honolulu, which is fairly common when we're coming from Australia. What I then did was just take a line straight from the position where the screenshots were taken to the top of the mountain in Kauai. And if we look at the flight plan calculation, you'll see that's giving us 252 nautical miles. So that's what we're going to have a look at when we, um, when we look at these calculations. Now looking at the island of Kauai, the mountain, see point number seven there, you'll see that it's 5,240 three feet high. Now if we look at the earth curve calculator and we take an altitude of 45,000 feet and a target distance of 200 miles, you'll see there should be about 600 feet hidden. So plenty of the mountain should still be visible. Now let's have a look at how this radar operates. The radar beam, even when the radar has zero tilt, has a vertical angle of 5.6 degrees okay so that's 2.8 degrees down and 2.8 degrees up so even with the radar beam at zero tilt we're still capturing features on the ground now 290 miles away we should be able to see those mountains if the earth was flat from 45,000 feet to the base of the mountain 290 miles away represents an angle downwards from our eye of 1.7 degrees. We can calculate that by using the arc tangent of 45,000 divided by 290 miles times 5280 feet, and that gives us the 1.7 degrees downwards. Now remember the radar, even in zero tilt, is looking down 2.8 degrees. So why can't it see the mountain? The mountain is uh, 1.7 degrees down, that's the base of the mountain, and the radar is covering 2.8 degrees down. So on a flat level earth, we should be able to see that mountain with zero tilt, but we can't. We can only see it when we tilt the radar down three degrees, okay? Because the earth's curvature is causing that mountain, even the top of the mountain, to be greater than three degrees down from eye level. That's why the radar beam looking at 2.8 degrees down can't see it. That's why we have to tilt the radar down. So yeah, we absolutely do factor in the curvature of the Earth when we're flying aircraft, especially using the, uh, the weather radar to map ground features. You'll see zero tilt, you can't see the ground. Three degrees tilt, you can see the ground features. Obvious evidence of Earth's curvature.